yesterday when I seen that video of yourself, uh, I must admit that there was an element of shock. But I remember when I was watching it, I did say to myself, why are you shocked? I can die before you. But still we think, oh, because you got a sickness, so you're definitely going to die before me. So I guess my question to you is, what message do you have for the brothers and sisters? Well, subhanAllah, the, the like Brother Hablas is saying, anyone can die before me. Even the people that were watching over me the day when I was on the floor bleeding could have died in that second before me. So we have to live each day as if it's our last, Allah. each second as if it's our last. Um, and a message to, to the brothers and sisters May Allah reward you all for, for all your support and, and, and concern. If Allah, a lot of people need to not feel sorry for me because I'm happy with what, I, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gifted me with. They need, they need to worry and reflect from what they see and ponder and think about them being, being in the same position. Not even in the same position. Anyone can die at any time. So the truth is, as much as you feel sorry for me, you sh should be feeling sorry for yourself before me. Because, alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me a project. I have something to work for in my life at, at, at this time. I, mean, I have a, a project I'm working towards to build my akhirah. I mean, a lot of people neglect that. They want to build their houses, their, their families, their kids, before they build their akhirah, you know what I mean? So. Sit down, reflect, and while I think, make the, think most, make the most of it, yeah, and think of you being in a position before feeling sorry for anyone.